Okay, how about now? Can you hear me? I forgot I had a, um, yay! I had a uh, microphone attached to it, which is not attached to it right now, so that's what happened. So what I was saying is I tried everything to get Raymond and it wasn't happening. Um, and now he is on my island and now the only one left that I need to get to be, to have my ultimate villager island is to get Judy. So I wanted to try every possible way to get her and I was unsuccessful. So we know the, we did the Nook Mile thing. That was six hours of like pure hell of tr like just my brain is not equipped for that and it was like torture for me and it did not yield anything I mean it yielded meringue and that was cool I like meringue but I also didn't get the ones I wanted so of course I was a little bit bitter about that so then I tried this other method which is the campsite method so you basically find a day that there's a camper at your campsite <laughs> trash villager oh gosh you're still mintberry i can't believe you're still doing this i mean you saw what i went through and now you're going to go through the same thing mintberry is currently trying to find her villager that she wants by doing uh nook mile tickets and we know it can sometimes work people oops i just passed this um people do go and like sometimes find the villagers that they want and it's like, to me, that seems like such a foreign concept because it did not work for me. That's for sure. So I get Raymond. He's on my island. Oh, no. Who's that? Okay, see, I always get thought bubbles, right? She's no, there's no way that Meringue's going to ask me to leave the island right now. And honestly, if she does, I'll, I'll let her go to go search for Judy. She's not going to, though. See, she has something for me. Thanks. You gave me a soft serve lamp. Where? What the heck, man? Oh, okay. I have them all. Meringue. Oh, let me get this. So, it's not been very fun to, to go through the process. So, what I did yesterday, I finally gave in and was like, I need to try every method that everybody is doing right now to get these villagers. So, I'm going to just buy them. I'm just going to go on eBay and I'm gonna buy him. And that's what I did. I went on eBay and I found a listing that I felt was reasonable. And here's how, here's why I felt it was reasonable. Number one, the amount of time that I spent, that six hours of my life that I can never get back, searching on those islands for Raymond, wasn't worth it. Um, I could have been doing so many more produ productive things with my life that day. I cannot find Raymond. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's in somebody's house. So I just decided that I was going to do it. I was going to, I was going to buy him and I didn't know how it was going to work because I've seen people talk about doing it and I, my brain just wants to figure out how these people have them so ready to go. I don't really know if they're, you know, hacking their, uh-huh. I, oh, I forgot. I brought Marina in too. She replaced Patty, who I also was an old school villager, and I loved her too, but um, it was time for her to go too because I, I got her picture. So, oh my God, she's so cute. I like her way better than Zucker, honestly. I think she's so, so much cuter. So, and I replaced, she's a normal um, villager, and Patty was uh, peppy, and I already have and I had three peppies on the island, so I didn't want to do that. So then the other method yesterday that I tried before I went and bought anything was the campsite method. And that's what I was trying to get to, to tell you. So the idea of the campsite method is that you have to make sure that you don't have a certain personality type on your island that you're looking for. So say you're looking for Judy, which I was you're looking for Judy. She is, she has the snooty personality type. So you want to make sure that you don't have any other snooty personality types on your island. Why is nobody home? I mean, somebody should be crafting at the very least. Did I try Bangle's house? What the heck? So, um, I, oh, you know what? It's probably him. 
Beau's always crafting. He's he's a good crafter. He was a good he was a good choice in here. So I go to the I, you, the idea is you have to find the uh, the day that the camper is at your island, and then you go and you see who it is. If it's somebody that you don't want, then the idea is that you're supposed to close out and there's like an algorithm yeah you would you wouldn't so for you Mintberry, because you are looking for all the same type of villager you you would have like almost no chance of getting a lazy villager onto your campsite because you have already so many lazy villagers on your island so I don't have any snooty ones and I thought that, that would be a good thing. I do have one smug because I have Julian, so there was a better chance for me to get Judy through the campsite method than there would have been for me to get um, Raymond. Well, guys, I did it. Oh, I know. Bo's so cute. I did it. I went. I found the day that my person's crafting. I mean, that my person was at the campsite, and it was like an awful, I can't even remember what villager it was. They were so bad. So at that point, you're supposed to shut down and then you're supposed to move ahead because they will not come back for, I think it's supposed to be like, now I can't even remember exactly to tell you exactly what it was, but I will make sure that I figure out exactly what it is. But I think it was like seven days or something. And then you have to go um, again and try. And then you move ahead to the seventh day and then you have to just listen to your morning messages and if Isabel says we have a visitor then you're cool but if she doesn't you just exit out right there and do it again move to the very next day don't do seven days again once you go that seventh day you have a certain probability of getting the villager again it's still not like a hundred percent probability of it happening so you just have to go day by day by day so that was boring me because I, I don't like tedious stuff but I I got a villager several times and none of them were anybody good. So I was like, this is not going to work for me because there's just too many. It's, it's just too much work for like nothing. And I'm wasting all this time. So I decided that I'm going to now try to kick out Ozzy, who I love, but I've had him for a long time and it's about time to let him go. He's tried to leave several times and I didn't let him and now I'm going to. So we got to go find, I don't know where everybody went. Like they're talking, like every, okay, here's Bangle, there's Stitches, Molly, but where the heck, let me go look in Nooks. I'll look in Nooks and Abel's. I never even get to see Raymond. He's on my island and he's like hides from me. He already hates me. As Mintberry told me, don't go all Elmira on him or I'm going to make him not like me. And that made me chuckle. Um, actually, Mintberry told me something yesterday that I did not know. She said, I assume you probably already know. Oh, no. See? Thought bubbles galore all the time. But it's because they always want to tell me stuff. Aww. Yeah, please, just give me a ballet outfit. That's totally cool. She's so cute. And she calls me her bestie, which means I think I'm getting close to a good rating with her. I'd like to get her, um, I'd like to get her picture, too. So I don't really know where everybody is right now. Well, maybe they're in the museum? I don't know. So, needless to say... It's probably going to be pretty difficult for me to get Ozzy. Oh, look at that cool dress. It's going to be hard to get Ozzy to leave. But I'm going to try. First, I'm going to buy this really cool princessy dress. I hope they have a purple one. I have, oh my God, look at these coats. First of all, Bianca needs this. And like Meringue needs this one. I have to buy all this. They're bothering you? I mean, I don't think they want to hear that, too. I doubt they can hear it. Um, yes, they have purple noble dress. 
Look how fancy. I love it. Um. Okay. So, does I, do I look good here? Raymond is the cat, dude. They don't like humans. You know, you're right, but he's going to have to love me. He's going to, just like with regular cats, you have to force your cat to love you. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to force him to love me. Look at all these cute bear heads. Like, I literally want everything from, from this right now. Does, oh, you know what? Maybe I should just get yellow so it matches my, um, because I was just wearing a noble coat. So now I'll just wear the yellow noble dress. Perfect. I, I match. Perfect. Very good. So I don't know what to do because I got to try to get him to leave. I don't really want to. It's like, so I just don't like things to be a lot of work. I'm going to miss Ozzy though. He, he's, he's a cutie and he's so nice and he's got the lazy personality, which is my favorite personality because they're so funny. But, like, did you guys notice, like, Raymond, Ozzy, I, I, like, I don't know where they are. They're not in their houses. And they don't appear to be on the island anywhere. Check the museum yet? No, I can go look in the museum. Let's go see. Maybe they're just, like, hiding from me because um, I'm always trying to talk. Maybe they're in the bar. Did I even look in the bar? I think I did. They're not in the bar. Hmm. Oh, Bianca. I almost got your dress. Oh, Jesus. Stitches likes to run into me. Where did they go? I mean, I've seen Molly 37 times already. Guys. Uh, sometimes they hang out on this side of the beach, but... I don't know where they are. Raymond's too nerdy to be over here working out, so. We'll figure it out. We'll go look in the museum. Lately, Ozzy has been getting in fights with Bengal, which is weird because I have Bianca and I've had Patty on the island and they both are there's Julian taking a little rest over there they are both um or they're all three of them are the same they're all three are peppy so I don't really know why he's having more of an issue with Bengal but they seem to be not getting along he keeps getting very upset with her about things like she tells him to eat healthier and he doesn't like that very much Who's in here? So my museum is done. Well, not all of it. That's a total lie. Um, my fossils are done and my art is done. Um, with a big thanks to Mintberry for the art part. But the fish, I was so close before I had to have my uh, before I had to switch my island. You think so? I'm going to go check. She thinks Raymond's looking at the artwork. And that's probably right because he is... He is uh, at the elite, you know. He's fancy pants. I know uh, Ozzy would not be looking at the art. At least I don't think he would be. Did I ever tell you that I never knew that this was the thing that made you see the whole museum? I never knew if you stood on that... And my son one day was like, Mom, do you know if you stand on that blue dot, you can see the whole museum? And I was like... Well, the idea is to get the meteor into it. That's yes. the, it's the meteor spot. So it's not exactly the whole museum. If you go to the right bottom right corner of that same room, there's another blue, blue dot to stand on to show more. It, it focuses on the, the, the impact of the meteor. That's the whole idea of those two blue dots. Not necessarily to see the whole thing, although that's a great... Uh, part of it? Yes, you. I mean, it's great. It shows you pans. Because uh, I was like, that was their way of making it. <laughs> Mintberry, did you not know that either? <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> I feel good that somebody learned it. Listen, 
I had no idea. My son was like, stand there and you'll be able to see. Because I said something. I was like, it's so stupid. They have these big, giant um, dinosaurs and you can't even see the top of their head because you can't scroll around. She's no, I did not. Don't worry, neither did I. But I'm so glad that I know it now because it really looks cool when you do it. Little nuancey things that you learn all the time. And then I was like standing here and like, what happens when you stand here? Nothing. Nothing happens. That looks like a pickle in a jar right there. That just looks like a, what is that even? It just looks like. It's a pickle in a jar. It's a pickle in a jar. Oh, Lord. All right, let's go see if uh, Raymond is looking at some artwork. He's so cute, though. He has two different color eyeballs and, like, his cute black room glasses on. He's adorable. Raymond, are you in here? Look at this beautiful art collection, would you? It's beautiful. I have this uh, fake version of this at the front of my island. I loved it. I bought it from... PK's Island. He is not looking at art either. I can't see him like be looking at like fish and bugs. So before I moved my island, I had I think like 12 fish. No, not even. I think I had like four fish left to get and like eight more bugs. And then I had to start all the way over again. <gasps> There's Ozzy. Ozzy's looking at the fish. Hi, bud. <laughs> Aw. I'm going to miss him so much. I love Ozzy so much. He's the cutest. I love the Dorados, too. They're cool. And the piranhas. I haven't gotten that big giant lake fish yet or what is it called the fish that starts with, there's Raymond buddy he, I don't I, think I've ever seen two people in the aquarium or a, a museum at once I know <laughs> oh my god Raymond you're so cute look at his so cute He's so, so cute. You can see his little, put little pink paw pads when he walks. Oh my God. I'm wondering if you think he's cute I or not. I think he's so cute. I love, I love looking at all these. I love the aquarium. I think it's so cool. I do need to find some more, I need the ore fish. I need like a, a bunch of other fish because my football fish is really lonely down there. And oh, I, I think the ore fish is out of season for everybody right now. I like to look through this too. <laughs> like a creeper. Hi. Look at <laughs> You can take some really cool pictures in this game. And I highly recommend that you do. All right, so I can't work on kicking Ozzy out right now because he is in here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to Harv's Island. And we're going to go check out... Um, we're going to go check out building some more stuff and taking pictures for Reese and Cyrus. Because we may as well. It's what we Psy got going. Guy. Psy guy. My Psy guy makes furniture. Wedding season. Have you uh, have you been able to see if you can order it or if the, or the wedding furniture stuff is not? Um, I can see, but it probably you probably can't order it. But I'll look. Because I have a bunch of wedding stuff. Um, it's gonna probably be down by W for a wedding. I could have just searched, but nope, all of it's not for sale. Okay. So so far, I've gotten a bunch of the furniture because every time so I've been traveling trying to find these um, villagers and I just chose to go to Harv's Island every time because I wanted to see what more they were going to do so I've every time you go he adds more furniture to it so there's a lot of really cool pieces that you can get so there's the wedding arch we got the wedding bench the cake the candles 
the chair, the wedding decorations, flower stand, head table. This pipe organ is crazy. Regular wedding reception table. And that is a weight bench, which does not have anything to do with wedding season. So what I want to do is I want to collect enough of the furniture that I can make a wedding scene and probably going to create another villager or another resident and turn one into a wedding hall. Because why not? That's just like, you know, I like to do this kind of crap. It's like what I do. So I'm going to go into my inventory before I head to Harv's and see what I've already purchased. So if you don't know or if you haven't gone to Harv's Island, hi Julian, if you haven't gone to Harv's Island yet to do the, the wedding season stuff. So what happens is it's their anniversary and they want pictures taken and they're going to ask you to create a scene for them and take their pictures, right? So you do that and then you talk to them after you do the picture and she gives you these things called heart crystals and they are probably sitting in my inventory right now maybe or not yeah so i have 15 of them sitting here um i have a bunch of different diys too that i need to unload i didn't even look at this one i have all of this so i'm gonna go into my storage and see i want to see what one she gave me Oh, she gave me the rainbow one. Fabsies. So I'm going to empty my pockets and then I'm going to go head over there and, oh, cool, some pleather pants. Um, let me see what, she, what this looks like. Aw, isn't that cute? You have any good DIYs? I have, as DIYs, I have a wooden plank sign, which is that sign that I have in front of the... Okay. Um, library and stuff at the diner. I have an orange end table, a peach rug, wooden block bed, and an angled signpost. I think I need that angled signpost. Would you mind mailing that to me? I can do that, but I'm not doing it right now. Well, I mean, you're going to the island, right? Oh, island. yeah, I guess so I could. So you can just do it on your way to the Arves Island? Yeah, but let me um get rid of, drop my other DIYs first. So, then... Wait, which one did you say you needed? The angled one, right? Angled sign. I literally just put it back in my pocket and then dropped it again. Okay, so I'm going to put this stuff in my inventory. I'm going to throw away those trees that I clearly don't need. And I want to look in my inventory right now to see what of the wedding stuff that I bought already. Um, so I'm just going to go, I think this is an alphabetical order, or maybe it's not. So I'm going to go down to W for wedding and I'm going to see what I've already purchased so that I don't like, I want to make sure I have enough of each thing um, because I want to be able to create an entire scene. Um, all right, here we go. So I have one arch and I'm going to write this down because I don't have a memory at all. One arch, which I don't need more than that. I have two pews Pew -pew. or benches rather two benches. I only need one cake. I have two candles. One table and only three chairs. One table. I got to get a bunch of chairs. Three chairs. Two of the stands. One organ. So they give you some of it at first, like she'll be like, oh, here's your payment or whatever for it. We made, he made you a wedding table, but then you have the money to get the, or the heart crystals to trade in for other stuff. So one stand, one organ, one table. And then did I, I don't think the regular decoration. The weight bench. Yeah, the weight bench is there too. That's important. So then there's two decorations. I currently have pinky in boxes. You have pinky in boxes? Mm -hmm. Does anybody want pinky? P uh, PK has pinky in boxes. I don't think two people watching are me and me. Mm. So. There's three but that's cool. Nice. Alright, so let me go ahead and mail that to PK and then go head out and see if they're going to do new things. I don't know 
uh, how far it goes because I got to a point, so I've done several, they want you to do the reception and then they want you to do the, um, the actual ceremony and they'll keep going back and forth. So first they'll ask you to do ceremony, then they'll ask you to do reception, then they'll ask for the ceremony again, but they give you more furniture and so on and so forth. But the thing that's cool is that you actually, you can customize it. So like I could literally do it like, a, instead of it being pink and white, like it is, they may start asking me to do um, like the different uh, customizations. So we'll see. I'm gonna send this to my friend PK. Ooh, I just got a mountain standing. Really? Yeah. He likes when I send different um, stationery. Stationery. I found that out the other day because I wasn't. I wasn't sending different stationery at all. Okay. Be -de 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 -de. Be -de 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 -de. Sweet. All right, so now we're going to go to Harv's Island. Let's Thank see you. what happens. You're welcome. That was nice, honey. Thanks. I hope they get the microphone picked up. It is. Grab into your headphones. You know mm -hmm. what happened. Oh. I want to visit Harv's Island. Oh, I'm so tired, you guys. I never sleep. Okay. My cup is the same color as the green screen, which is so funny because when I go to drink, it just blocks my face out. I'm drinking invisibility juice. That's great. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go talk to your buddy Harv. He looks just like Chong, Tommy Chong. Wait, what was that? He just gave me a... So I was not paying attention. You got a good eye for this. Just keep, keep it on. He just gave me something, a DIY for something, and I don't know what it was. Fencing? Is that what he said? I don't know, man. I wasn't paying attention. If any of you guys were paying attention, tell me what he just gave me a DIY for. Wait. Like, what is happening? I should probably pay attention. anniversary photos. I don't know what just happened at all, but he gave me a DIY for something. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. So now there's like different color scheme going on. This is definitely a different, it was all blue before. So they are going, that was my, that's what I suspected that they were going to want different color schemes this time. So let's find out what they want. So yeah, we had a reception party and at the end you can invite your villagers in. Time for something new. Hmm. Using custom colors. We know. Only half of your face is on the screen. <sighs> I don't pay attention that part. Like you can see like the Today's cheek theme. Your I want to take a picture. I want to take a picture in a cute set. Pink and white. Why? I'd be tickled pink and white. But she keeps asking me for pink and white. I already did pink and white. So it appears that we're in the reception area. Okay, so there's new stuff, that's for sure. So today she's asking for pink and white, but, oh man, there's so much. 
<laughs> How am I going to get all this furniture? Do you put a ton of pink Christmas trees? She likes you to use their stuff. So I'm in the reception hall, right? So let's do a wait, we we already did that. What wall is this? The stately wall she has it in. Well, she has for pink and white, so I'm gonna do pink and white. Um, I don't think I can, oh God, I didn't want to do that. I don't think I can, um, I keep going out of frame. Let me see. Oh, son of a biscuit. Yeah, they want to do the cute theme, so that's what we're doing. Now, are they supposed to be getting married or are they supposed to be having a reception? I don't remember what they said because again, I wasn't paying attention. So I'm just going to put a bunch of crap out for a reception. Okay. All right, we're good. We're just, and then I'm going to put this up. So the cool thing is you can clone everything um, quickly while you're in here by just, oops. Um, just pressing your trigger, your uh, right Z, Z R. So I usually just put a couple of things out, and then, um, oops, and then use that. And I try to do the sides slightly different than I do the front area. It does not really matter what you choose to do, but I think that you will get more hearts the more uh, like if she says she wants pink and white and you don't do pink and white, then you're going to get less hearts. I do, and I add Nova Lights and pink ice stuff and pink Christmas trees. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what they want you to do. Just, I do, I use his stuff and then I do the same thing. I just add a bunch of, I, one time I, the whole room, I did nothing but put um, floor lights on. I did like a ton of floor lights, the pink ones. I'm gonna put like these little benches up here. We'll see, I don't even really, at this point, I'm not trying too hard. Okay, max 11 hearts for seven days and 15 hearts after that. Okay, good. But you, but you can get up to that, right? Like you can get less than that if you don't follow their, um, their guidelines, right? Yeah. All right. So, you know what else I was using a lot of too was, um, the cute table, the little cute tea table because it's like perfect with the pink and white. This little guy, I use that and put like the candles on it and stuff. Go, do what I say. Can I fit this all in or no? No, it's just gonna have to go there and there. So I can get myself very like, wrapped up in this kind of stuff because I love designing but I'm not going to do it for the sake of you guys I'm just going to put a whole bunch of uh, pink stuff everywhere and call it a day and uh, we'll just go that route but I like to put these at the edge had fun taking the pictures like you know trying to find interesting and fun angles to use it's been it's been cool um let me do I like to oh you know what else I was doing a lot of was the um gold candelabras 
but I gotta put some pink lights on here. I literally was just doing this until there was no more room. <laughs> and that was my pink and white. And I feel like there's quite a lot of it, actually. So I think they'll like it. Um, I gotta put something on their table. So let's go to this stuff. I just was using like the little place settings. And then I, uh, oh, I can put like pink mugs on there if I want. I was using this and then I was customizing it with like a pink, like that. Just turn that around a couple, replicate it. And then I don't even have any seats down, but I really just don't care. So I'm gonna be done with this at this point. I'm gonna take my picture. I'm gonna move myself out of the way. I should probably at least put them in chairs, I guess, <laughs> because they look a little short. Here, let me, let me get out of there. Let me let you guys sit down. How about that? I can't put that there. Oh, son of a biscuit. Fine. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, sit your butts down. Now I will take my picture. Nice little frame and boom. They look miserable but it's gonna be good enough. All right, now I'm gonna to talk to her. I can't get to her. Let me just pull them out. Here guys, come talk to me. Oops. Go ahead, friend. Thank you, thank you so much. So I have 15. And now I gotta buy some more stuff. So I'm gonna talk to him and we're gonna buy a little bit more stuff. Now, oh crap, I don't even remember. I thought I got the wallpaper. What? Oh, it's Reese talking. Big city, sophisticated, subtle, okay. Whoa. Wait, I didn't know you could shoot more than one set in a day, or is that new? Now they want a brown set. I'm gonna have to do this another day. Let's just talk to him. A wedding wand. They're funny when you pick them up. Who's funny? The packets. Oh. When you pick them up and move them around. Mm hmm All right. So I really only needed, to, should I get more than one bench? I feel like I got to get, I have two benches, two candles, one table. I feel like I need another table. 
I don't have the welcome board yet. I don't have these walls. No, I definitely have the white wedding wall. I don't have the flooring. What? There's a, there's a wedding dress and a tuxedo, a cake dress and a wedding tuxedo and shoes and a veil. Yo. Okay, I gotta focus here. I need this welcome board. I don't have that yet. <sighs> this is too much for me because now I'm, what if I don't have enough time to get all of this stuff? I'm going to be really mad. Okay. I'll get rid of more crystals. All right, so I'm welcome board. I definitely need more chairs. Should I get another wedding table too? I'm gonna need at least two. Okay, so I'll have two tables. I'm gonna get another chair. I need three of those. Before I have three, I need four at the minimum. All right, I'm going to stop here. I don't think that I'm really, I don't think they're going to give me anything else if I do this. So I don't want to really waste any more time, you know. I'm done. I'm out. I need to see what Harv gave me. He gave me some sort of a DIY too. And what does the wedding wand look like? Just all these things. I gotcha, Harv. I gotcha. Let's go back and see what we just got. Actually, I can look in here now. Nope, I can't. Not look in there. All right, we're going back down to Peach Town. at my now you see me now you don't my invisibility cloak my invisibility cup okay let's see what do we got you, <clears throat> do you need me to order anything for you because I don't really want any of this stuff all of it well we don't need me to order you like flooring and the rugs and that kind of stuff yeah I do I don't have any of that. You didn't order it yourself? What not, are you ordering? Not yet. What am I ordering? Mm -hmm. All the other stuff. Okay. I need several of them. Do you want me to just wait till uh, at the, until the yeah. end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Maybe 11 crystals today. Wait, really? 11, yeah. 11? 11. Did you get 11? Is that good? Did you get 11? Is that good? I think you can get a max of 11 hearts... Yeah, from what Crunch says, you get a max of 11 hearts on the first seven days, but then after that, you can get a max of 15. So you got the max amount that you could get, which is good. Did you get the max amount today? I don't know. I think so. All right, let's look at the wedding wand. I just put all the tables and chairs out and put a heart rug underneath them. That's cute. Oh, it looks nice. Delicious. Like each time, that's all you do? I mean, that's what I did today. I pointed on it yesterday. Oh, wedding fence. That makes so much sense. What does this wedding fence look like? Look at the stitches. He's so cute. Hi, little buds. Like, technically, I could use the cute chair with, with all that wedding stuff. Look at this. This tarantula freaks me out. I got it from uh, Flick, and it's, it's it just keeps scaring me every time. 
All right. Why don't you keep it there? Why don't you put it on the stump? Um, I tried and it wouldn't go on the stump. Get up. I'll try again. Yep, it just goes next to it. It won't let me. So, my plan was initially to try to get Ozzy to move out of the island, but it ended up being a Harv's Island um, excursion because he was in the museum messing around. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, if I do end up trying to get, if I do end up going with Judy, getting Judy. So this was, was my next plan. My, because the when I purchased Raymond, I got a whole bunch of extra stuff with it. Okay. So we pay, we we decided it's worth it because we really wanted, oh, look, Raymond's in there. We really wanted all, you got all the DIYs for all the gold, um, all the gold tools. Look at his house. It's a, it's an office. I am going to totally give him the best things. Like I am going to give him like he's got document stacks and a safe. Like, what are you even doing, Raymond? You're adorable. Yeah, of course I know. It's me. All right, so he's really cute. Look at those two different color eyes. Hi, you're cute. So when I went to go get him, it was really cool how it was set up. And I'm really just impressed by these people. You go and you you buy the the listing right and then immediately upon buying the listing you just write them a message through ebay and you say this is the villager that i'm looking for they write you back within minutes and they're like okay let's pick a time frame that works for you does this time frame work for you and it was literally like 20 minutes from the time 20 minutes in the future <laughs> and i was like yep it works I'm, i have an open plot i'm ready to go so then they message they said okay so uh, a little bit before we're ready for you to go, we're going to message you a dodo code. So within minutes, they messaged me the dodo code and they were like, we're running ahead of schedule. So you can either come now or within your time frame. But if you need to, if you're ready to come early, you can come right now. So I just put the dodo code and went in. When I got there, I was gated off. So as soon as you got out of the airport, you were completely gated off and Raymond's house was right in the front and all of the extra stuff there was 40 extra things so you had to come with nothing in your pocket and I just that was it I just went I picked everything up and then I went inside and he was in boxes and he was ready to come to my place and that was it and he came so I was gonna do it again with Judy because it's worth it to me instead of spending six hours of my life trying to find them to just spend this little bit of money on a game that I would definitely uh, get my money's worth out of because I play this game constantly um, just to have the people that I want on my island and then I'll be done like I, once Ozzy's gone like I have the cutest look at my villagers they're great no complaints about any of my villagers it's just I would rather turn little Oz into Judy and then I have the perfect villager list in my opinion my my faves Fawn is cute too. Eventually, I'll move some of these little people out. Like, I'll probably move Molly out because I'm not, like, totally obsessed with Molly. She's sweet, but I'm not totally obsessed. And I'm not totally obsessed with Marina. I'll probably move her out at some point and I can bring some other ones in. So, that's what I have for you guys today. Um, I may or may not continue to try my... my hand at getting Ozzy to want to move out and if I do and if I somehow am able to do it then I will hop back on and show you guys the process because I want you to see what it was like to buy <laughs> with real money a villager and go and pick them up it was just it's such a fascinating thing to me that this game has its own black market basically so um thank you guys so much for watching today it's already been an hour so um i'm gonna head out for the evening and relax i hope everybody is good and stays safe and um we'll either see you tomorrow or maybe you'll see me later tonight depends have an awesome night